Okay, so we're here in St. Nicholas Square in Aberdeen, a beautiful day in Aberdeen, uh, in our hundreds and thousands, about to march to Barclays Bank, five minutes along Union Street. And we're going to have a noisy protest outside and let Barclays know that Aberdeen and the rest of Scotland doesn't stand aside and allow their complicity with arms company that are arming Israel, arming their bombing of Gaza and arming attacks in the West Bank. Um, so, yeah, we're going to continue um, with the, the great protests that have been happening down in Glasgow and Edinburgh and are going to be happening across Scotland until Barclays end its complicity. We're here protesting against Barclays Bank because they're financing the war crimes in Israel. So we're all protesting about that and to me it's very, very important. Uh, I may not be as active as I was, but it's still very important uh, when you get older to be able to put a small voice into what you say. And giving out leaflets is the sort of thing I'm good at. Thank you. But just because the bombs have stopped raining down in Gaza and as such is no longer the headline news, the Israeli policies of apartheid and ethnic cleansing against the Palestinian people continue unabated. It's really important, therefore, that we maintain our solidarity with the Palestinians. Lots of people as well not taking leaflets and not being curious. Good turnout from 